So I want to I want to use collector's case number two. So I switch into collector's case two, turn it on, and I switch from being a question mark to being a highlighter. And that's what we just highlighted. That's what we just took. And I can print it or file it or trash it. And I have, it's as equivalent as if as I fly through space, I've got six different colors of highlighter. And I can pull out whatever one I want so I can kind of categorize what I'm saving and just kind of go like this to whatever I encounter and it just flows over my back into collector tanks that I can deal with one as I want to later. Now, one of the things that's really most unique about what we've done here is that let's say that I want to go back and to something I've, I've just looked at, like maybe the uh, biography on Einstein. That's not what I wanted to do. One approach to doing that, let's go to I can, I can use these icons, this reference level, this representation level, to travel back in my own personal path. So rather than having to steer the whole system back to where I was when I asked those questions, there's a history that's preserved for me of everything I've seen. So if I want to go back to the story about Darren, or the central thread about Darren, or the key points of gravity which we looked at, I can just jump back to them. I don't have to re-move the whole ship around. Now, one final point, and then we're going to break and have a little Q&A to close, is what happens when I come in here and I look at the word fundamental, and it doesn't have the kind of reference I want. I really wanted to go into the roots of that word, because that's an important word. I can hit a button, pull down and see all the different things that could be or should be available, and in this case, what I've, in one second, told the system is, I looked for fundamental. There wasn't the kind of reference I wanted. I wanted the etymology of fundamental. So it's, it wakes up in the mode of, see, this, this indicates I want to send a message back to whoever made this thing, right? Feedback. Whoever made it. Fundamental. There wasn't any roots for it. I hit a button, and the message has been sent. So in a second, not only can I get what's available, I can tell everybody else what my needs were that the system couldn't support. So that the system can begin to learn how to support the needs of people that are actually learning from what's going on. Do that again. Um, universe. Say that I wanted to have a full elaboration on the universe and there wasn't one. Or I say I have a question. You're in my class with me, and I say, "All right, uh, Steve, I w what do you think about this universe stuff?" And I use the same structure that we're using in all these other levels to become the rubric, if you will, to be able to pass messages back and forth, to be able to tell the system that created this material what my needs were that it didn't meet, and finally. Let's suppose that I wanted to write something and contribute it to the class or to the school or to the district. That I go into the publish mode and I put whatever I want in and then it, it, it actually fires what I've created into the system to become a resource for all the learners that follow me. So, there's a lot of other parts to this. There's, an, uh, there's authoring tools. There's the teacher interface, there's the curriculum interface, there's how it is that we organize the data in, the, in what we call meaning modules, so as to allow this kind of power of responsiveness to be deliverable on pretty economic you know, hardware platforms. Um, but that's, the, that's one piece of this. 
as I told you earlier, as I think we went into earlier, the main part of our work is this, uh, and Margaret keeps reminding me, this kind of Copernican-like <laughs> inversion. Yeah? Remember the Copernican revolution? It was a very simple thing. People stood on the earth and saw for many, many years that the sun obviously goes around the earth. To which, at some point, a bunch of people started to say, well, just maybe <laughs> the earth goes around the sun. Look the same, huh? Well, that's kind of what we're about. It's that simple and it's that complicated. That right now we're, we kind of look at everything at this knowledge and performance and objective level. And we're saying that the best way to, perf to perform, the best way to become competent with the knowledge, to have the skills, to be everything that's necessary in a world that's so complex, is to become learning oriented. And the, yeah. Yeah. Say there's not a piece in there that was helpful to you. Right. And you said that you could send a message that this was not helpful to me. Right. How does the, uh, where does that go? It can go both to the teacher, to the person responsible for that kind of curriculum at any level within the, the district. Okay, let me ask it this way. How do I know that there's something on there from a student that tells me what they need, what's not there? How do you go about doing that? And then the second you. question, how do you uh, control in the edit, in the publishing mode some of the crazy stuff that children might put on there? Good question. Good question. Thank you. As far as how to visualize the incoming feedback, okay. Let's kick the lights down a second, Margaret. Remember I told you just a moment ago that I said I, I wanted to, um, the roots of fundamental and I wanted the uh, full elaboration of the universe. See that in this feedback window, okay, what this window is showing is that these are the, and this actually occurs throughout the whole day, these are the types of references that were looked at through this learner interface today. Remember we did, we did the sound on that? We did the biography on Einstein. This, this is a running audit trail of what references were looked at through this reference, actually live, working here. This is a, a view of the representations that were looked at today, now, while we've been together. This is the feedback, the fundamental in the universe, which remember we did. What this would say then to a teacher, kick the lights back on for me. Um, 